Okay, so you might hear my child scream in the background a little bit, but I'm going to see what I can do to show you what happens with the new update to Adobe Lightroom Classic CC, uh, April 3rd, 2018. They've put in some new features here that, uh, from what I've heard, sound pretty interesting and this is my absolute first look at this so I'm probably going to stumble around and fumble around and see what we can come up with. Um, Adobe Profiles, you apparently get better control. Profiles, color design, f yeah you can read that, I, I can't read right now. Uh, profiles designed for color photos. A new creative profiles, from what I saw this uh, is probably going to be one of the best new features. Essentially this is similar to um, the presets however it's kind of built into the develop modules that uh, we used to use for editing um, of course all that should still be there but this is kind of a preliminary uh, quick adjustment to get the overall looks that you want and it sounds like you can uh, you know fade the uh, intensity of these different profiles uh, they've moved where the dehaze slider is, um, which makes a lot more sense to me, and I'll show you that, and a bigger tone curve. So, apparently that's easier to use. Okay, got it, let's go. <clears throat> uh, yeah, R2-D2, why not? Well, you can play with <laughs> some of the fun shoot photos I did with uh, the roller derby girls here a little while back. Let's uh, take a look at this one, just because it's fun. So... If you go into the develop module, let's see, we've got a profile browser right here. This is where they put the dehaze slider, so if you ever played around with that, basically it uh, adjusts contrast in a way that either increases or decreases haziness in a photo, which is a pretty cool little feature. It used to be all the way down here near the bottom just above the cali camera calibration section but they put it back up in here with the presence with your clarity vibrance and saturation that just makes a lot more sense to me personally um the other thing they added here was you know previously one of the big differences people always complained about between shooting in raw or jpeg was that you know cameras will automatically apply contrast and saturation adjustments to a JPEG image, and a lot of people like those because they look like they have a lot more pop, whereas a RAW file has none of that. It's up to you to edit it the way you want. Adobe has tried to address that with this Adobe Color Profile, which uh, should be going forward anytime you load a new photo into Lightroom, it will automatically default to this profile, which, of course, you can set that. Uh, but this you know, it won't show you any differences as far as the sliders, but it does, if you take a quick look, add a little more contrast, and the the theory behind it is that it, sh it, you know, takes into account a lot of different possibilities as far as photos that you might take and produces the best initial look to your raw files. Uh, to address a little bit of the complaints that people have had over the years of using the Adobe standard profile, but we're gonna I'm talking to my video. She's asking what I'm talking to. Yeah uh, Okay Profile browser Let's see artistic eight. So yeah they have Different adjustments that you can see it actually as you hover over them changes you know some of the tint and contrast in the image that's cool um, black and white so you can automatically generate a few different versions of black and white just by picking these modern what is modern So yeah, I think these will, yeah, there's one that has, you know, the, the crushed blacks or where we uh, do the little bit of fading of the black tones. This one adds some blue tint into the shadows. Cool stuff. Vintage. Yeah, I can see some of these might be useful. So I'm going to pick one and see what happens with it. Let's go with one that has... Yeah, I like the blue tones of the 
the modern this one here let's see what happens so yeah there's the slider so you can actually basically zero is where you're at with your original image and you can really overdo it uh, but if you say go from there all right so that is our new starting point for this image and then you can go in and yeah oh man she's dressing up <laughs> do your normal adjustments okay so uh, one of the other things that was mentioned was that there was a bigger tone curve and uh, taking a look at this the window yeah it's a little bit bigger so it makes it a little bit easier to see where you're moving these things to but it really functions the same way so uh, okay I'll take it it's a little nice but uh, not a huge difference from what it was okay I had to zip up the zipper for my daughter's costume so yeah um, from what I see that's the majority of the new changes nothing earth-shattering but definitely I like this a lot better than the use of presets honestly because I I'm not a big preset fan. There's all kinds of you know, stuff out there, and yeah, you can actually throw those over the top of that. Um, but this amount slider is actually what's really interesting to me. Now, favorites, the question I have is whether or not it allows you to create new ones, which I don't see that. So it may just have these as the only available ones. Um, I'll look into that, see if I can get any updates on that. But it looks like you get what you get here. But some of those are actually pretty decent and uh, a good way to start off with a lot of editing images. So I'll leave you with that and talk to you guys later.